All bicycles, with or without a motor, are technical yet sensitive creatures that need a little bit of care every now and then. What you can do regularly at home. Cleaning your bike will help maintain its quality and keep the dirt and dust from getting into the drivetrain and bottom bracket. Tip: Let your bike dry and brush off the dirt. Then use soap and water to thoroughly wash your e-bike. Avoid using pressure washers. Check the tire by pressing on it regularly. Too low tire pressure can decrease the overall range and performance of your e-bike. Low pressure can also cause damage of the rim, for example, when you hit a curb. We suggest investing in a floor pump with a pressure indicator. Check the numbers on the sidewalls of your tire. Do not go above this. Before applying grease, you should first clean the chain with the fleece or old rags. Repeat this every couple of weeks. A carbon belt drive does not need any oil. However, it needs to be cleaned with water and some washing liquid once in a while. After cleaning the chain, apply oil and spread it throughout. Shift through the gears to spread it over the sprockets. Remove excess oil with a rack. Pulling the brakes should bring it to a stop comfortably and safely. If the lever can be pulled too far or the braking force is insufficient, have your bike checked in a professional workshop before the next ride. After the first couple of weeks of riding, you should check the bolts and nuts. If there is too much play in the bolts, tighten them up a little bit. Always use the correct tool size. Don't tighten the bolts too far. When in doubt, ask our customer service. Pull your front brake and hold it. Now, grab the transition between frame and headset. If you now move the wheel back and forth while pulling the front brake, you may feel the spacer move. If there is movement, loosen the stem clamping bolts. Tighten the upper bolt of the stem cap a little bit. The movement should have gotten less. Otherwise, tighten the upper bolt a bit more. Now you can tighten the two stem clamping bolts carefully. When everything fits, you should not feel any more looseness and the handlebars can still be moved smoothly to the right and left. Otherwise, repeat the process. Clean the charging port with some contact spray and an old toothbrush to avoid oxidation. Don't worry, the port and button are waterproof. Try to charge your bike every five to six weeks. In this way, you can maintain the highest possible battery capacity in the long term. Store the e-bike in a dry place over the winter. Do not charge the bike if the surrounding temperature is below zero degrees Celsius. After a ride in winter weather, let the e-bike warm up a little bit before charging it. Because the plug of the charger is held by magnets, make sure that no metal chips or other metallic objects stick to plug or port when you want to charge your bike. All professional bike shops can carry out the maintenance of our bikes. We always have a service station in our showrooms and several service partners that you can find on our website. The first important professional checkup should take place after the first 500 kilometers. This will ensure that everything is working as it should. Have the bike serviced regularly every 3000 kilometers. If you ride often, make sure to take it to a professional bike shop to our showrooms or train service partners for maintenance at least twice every season. Have fun riding!